start recording, start streaming. Start streaming, where are they streaming? There it is, good. Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. Put on the line for twenty bucks. Hi guys. Dubois, Montreal. Hi everybody, come into my kitchen. It's Maggie, Mrs. Calabash. I wish it was more pleasant times that I was greeting you all, uh, but uh, things are what they are. And so I changed, completely changed what I was going to show you today because we're all in the same situation. Um, we're sort of self-isolated. We've got to make do as far as possible with what we've got in the home. And this is a question I don't know with you, but I'm stretching things, making them go just a little bit further. And when I first qualified in the 60s, sort of 1962, in England, we hadn't got the vast array of goods that you have nowadays. So, the recipes were um, inventive, put it that way. Uh, we, we used basic ingredients and we had flavour by using whatever we got in. So today, this is one of the recipes um, that I used to make a lot when I first graduated. I was a home economist for the uh, East Midlands Gas Board in Sheffield. And this was a favourite with, uh, with mainly ladies that um, I, I had, um, I demonstrated to. So first of all, I'm going to wash my hands. This is even more important now than ever before. So bear with me, I'm going to go over the sink and wash my hands. Hot soapy water. I have put a little clove oil of clove in my um, in my uh, liquid soap, hand soap. It has an antibacterial uh, quality and it smells nice. I love cloves. I put it in my shampoo. I put it in everything. So we're going to make, <laughs> it's called an Australian egg chowder and it's using hard boiled eggs now, I'm using today mixed frozen veg. Let's go back to the stove. Come on, back with me. I'm using um, make, uh, mixed frozen veg, but you could put any vegetable in there that you have. If you wanted to put broccoli, because it's got the iron in, uh, whatever you've got in. But I like uh, the mixed frozen veg. It's got a good selection of vegetables. And it's something I always keep in my freezer. So I'm going to strain those. I just cook them. And you notice I'm going to strain them into the bowl. I want to keep that water just in case because I'm going to make a white sauce. I'm going to look. I've got the broiler on in the oven because I need that. So let's just move this over here and I've got some potatoes which I've cooked which will strain in a minute. So we're going to make a white sauce, a curry sauce. So I've got the margarine or butter just melted and the flour. I have put, I've kept a little extra flour out just in case. Um, I might have overmeasured the um, the margarine or butter, and I want it to um, be a certain consistency. So we're going to add the flour, and 
the curry powder. Now this is Mrs. Calabash colour powder. So go on to Mrs. Calabash Cooks uh, com and the recipe is up there. So we, we want to cook the flour and the margarine or butter together so that it's not raw. It can taste very raw if we just don't cook it out for a few minutes. Milk. So I did keep the uh, water from the vegetables in case I want to add it to the to the uh, sauce. You can just make it with um, with the uh, vegetable water if you like. You don't have to add the milk to it, or you can use a mixture of the potato water and the vegetable water. That will give you a nicer flavour. Let's bring this up. We want this to thicken. Let's just bring it up to the... We want to bring it up to the boil. How's everybody managing? I'm going, I've got cabin fever. I can't wait to get out into the garden. I'll be moaning when the, when the grass is growing so fast that I can't keep it, or Derek, <clears throat> excuse me, Derek can't keep it mowed. Uh, but I keep examining, see what flowers are coming up. And I've got a primrose coming up that survived the winter and some tulips and some crocus. The daffodils don't seem to be doing very well. I don't know what's happened to them. But we've still got a little bit of snow and ice out on the front so this rain should um, should sort of send everything away and maybe tomorrow I don't know maybe tomorrow we can get out there it did fool me yesterday because the weather said that it was going I read the weather report it was going to be 10 and I thought oh great got a little bit carried away stripped the bed Wash the mattress cover, wash the blanket. <sighs> it barely reached no, it barely reached five. But um, they did um, they did manage to dry, just needed finishing off. So and today the windows have all been open. There's a beautiful fresh smell in the house. Now I've not you you can see I've not used all the um, all the milk i i'd like that to be a little bit thicker so what i'm going to do is use one of these let's just turn that down i want to turn that down to to low we'll make a, a bermagne so that's a little bit of butter or margarine and some flour and the literal translation to this from the French is um, kneaded butter. And you will have seen me make this before. So we're just going to push the butter down and incorporate the flour. And you can, I always keep some of this made up in the fridge. And then if I want to thicken a soup or a gravy, I've got it on hand. Or like this, I've the sauce isn't as thick as I would like it to be. So let's just turn that up and we can add a drop more milk. I want a little bit more sauce, a, a, a drop more sauce than here. So let's just put some of this in. As I say, in the kitchen, if something doesn't work dead right, don't panic. It'll always work out. So we're going to whisk this in like that. I'm going to add a drop more milk to that. Bring it up to the boil. Now the reason why we cook it for a few minutes more 